hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a weekly vlog i'm really excited for this week i've got so much going on by the way yeah heatless curls we're gonna take them out together i'm so excited for this week because i am in london so much and i thought it was the perfect opportunity to vlog and sit down and catch up with you there's like a lot i want to talk about i thought why not do it in a vlog hi and welcome if you're new my name is georgia mate please do not forget to hit subscribe and check out my other platforms i'll leave them below but youtube will forever be my love um even if it's probably my now smaller platform and maybe like the least watched but it's still my favorite i love youtube so much so thanks to all of you guys for still sticking with my youtube channel and watching me it means the world also just want to start this video by saying i tried to film this in my back bedroom my neighbor is cutting metal in the garden i tried to film it in the middle bedroom and it was too dark then i came downstairs and i've tried to film it here at the front of my house and there's like a delivery with a skip and all sorts going on this is the realities of living in a town so i always apologize for the background noise but there's honestly nothing i can do i also have single glazed windows in my house i know i need to get them all replaced it's just very expensive and it's like on the bottom of my list but i really need to get that done this year um all my sisters just turned up okay building work seems to have stopped my sister's come and picked up a tripod and now i can talk to you guys for 10 minutes before i need to leave the house so yeah i wanted to well i didn't want to talk about this but i feel like i kind of have a duty to talk about it i don't know or i just i like to vent so i have been feeling insane anxi anxiety for the last two weeks like probably the worst bout of anxiety i've ever had in my life i only got anxiety about a year and a half ago or a year ago and it's just a wonderful thing really recommend it i never talk about it because i feel like everyone has it i also feel unfair to talk about it because i think a lot of people look at my life online and think what on earth do you have to feel down or anxious or what, what do you have why do you have the right to feel kind of feel that way and it must be frustrating for some people i think so i also don't want to like do that to people that are working like 15 hour shifts and trying to support their family and feel like feeling super overwhelmed but then at the same time i feel like talking about this now might help some people that feel this way and then isn't that the point of just helping anyone and i don't even really know if this is more to help you guys or if this is more to help me and i honestly feel like it's more to help me so yesterday i suffered with my first ever panic attack full blown couldn't breathe at all thought i was dying panic attack i have never had that in my life i do not wish that on anyone i honestly thought i was dying like i know like it's so weird because now i'm out of the situation it's kind of laughable because it's so ridiculous like clearly i was fine i had been feeling so anxious the whole day and sick and like just ill and yeah just like a horrible feeling and i went to the gym because i wanted to go to the gym because i felt so horrible and i was doing my workout and everything was fine and i was struggling to sort of catch my breath in the workout but like that's how i am in the whole of these workouts that i do um which i want to talk about this in another video i'm sure i'll bring you guys along to the gym with me and show you what i do at this circuit class i love them they're like the best class and this is nothing to do with the class but i always struggle to kind of catch my breath like it's that kind of class it's high interval it's circuits it's cardio that's you know the name of the game but i was fine i wasn't hadn't come off a cardio machine i'd been doing weights and i was struggling to breathe struggling to breathe and then it just went into full blown i just couldn't breathe i just could not i felt like i couldn't breathe i was going <laughs> i mean i can't really remember it wasn't long either i honestly think it was probably like i don't know maybe it was like 30 40 seconds of panic i don't even know i was with leon thank god and the guy who works at the gym was like the nicest guy ever and he was like you need to sit down like when i sort of came caught, caught my breath back um but i did have a full-blown panic attack and it's just the weirdest thing because i've never had that in my life and i don't want that to like be a thing now <sighs> i am anxious now about that being like a thing like i don't want to every time i go anywhere feel like i'm gonna have that feeling and i just feel really like i couldn't sleep all night last night i honestly didn't sleep all night i was like looking at leon asleep like angry that he was asleep because i was like i can't sleep and then i woke up today and just like feel teary and super anxious i don't know it's just a horrible feeling 
Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with that story, but I just wanted to tell you guys that that's what happened yesterday. I'm gonna get on with my week. I'm not gonna let this affect me. Like, I refuse to let this affect me. But I also just wanted to let you guys know that you're not alone in those feelings. And if you suffer with things like this, you're not alone. And also, do you have any tips and tricks for someone that is desperate to get out of this, like, rut that they're in? of this like anxious feeling. I would appreciate any tips and tricks that you guys have. But yeah, anyway, let's take my hair out and see what it looks like. And let's get on with the day and let's move on. But I did just wanna like touch on this. Um, So this is the result. I had a feeling this was gonna happen because this side was way tighter than this side for some reason. So I'm gonna kind of touch it up maybe a little bit with my Dyson, just this front piece. And I'm gonna brush it out and I'm gonna get changed because I've actually got to go. And I've got to put a bit of foundation down my neck and my chest because my foundation is not matching my neck right now. Hello guys i'm off out to an event and i thought why not bring you guys with i have got the most gorgeous i just fell into the wall dress on but i can't get a proper kind of look at it can you guys see it it's from this brand called forever new it's absolutely beautiful like honestly all this like bordery and glaze the little details the little buttons it's my kind of dress, um, but I can't do it up. So I'm picking up my sister and I'm gonna get her to do it up. I've put loads of like pearl clips in. I've kind of gone a bit OTT, but why not? I've got my pearl earrings in, my pearl necklace. I'm really going for it today. And I've put my little cowboy boots on because obviously this outfit is very summery. It is, hang on, do you know what? I'm gonna tell you what it's all in aid for once I've got myself together and I've hopped in my Uber. So give me a couple of minutes, guys. Hey guys, I'm here with Liv. I said I was gonna tell you what we're actually doing as I was rushing around. We are on our way to, I think it's meant to be like a brunch, but it's an afternoon brunch, not how I think of brunch, just like breakfast. I'm putting breakfast and lunch. Yeah. This is in between lunch and dinner. And late lunch. Yeah, with Forever New. So that's who this dress is from, like by Forever New. And it's also got one on under her trench, which is by them. It's really cute, I'll show you guys when we get there. It's currently tipping it down outside. So we thought we would sit in an Uber instead of get the train, but it's honestly vile. So yeah, these are the little clips I'm going for. And I'll show you guys our outfits probably when we get there. Hey vlog! Oh, sorry, I'm trying to put the blind up so you guys can see me. Hi guys, how you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, I decided I wanted to vlog this week because I need to get better at vlogging. And I'm gonna force myself to do it. I love vlogs, like I love watching them. And I'm just really bad like in public vlogging. When I'm with people that know I'm vlogging, I'm cool with it. But when I'm with people that don't get vlogging, or like the general public, do you know what I mean? When you're out and about on the street, like I don't wanna just get my camera out. Let me just put this hoodie on one sec. Oh God, I'm gonna get makeup on it. Oh no. Hair brush and some products. I'm using the Goldwell Bond Pro. I love this stuff. And the Way Matte Pomade. Anyway, how are we all? I hope you guys are all doing well. I, yeah, just really felt like getting the vlogging camera out. I think I've already shown you guys today's skincare routine. If not, I'm gonna pop that in now. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to this little clip. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, it is currently eight in the morning and I'm about to do my skincare and I really wanted to document it and show you guys my current skincare routine and some products that I've fallen in love with. This section of the video is kindly in partnership with Dermatica. They actually sent over their skincare now a few months ago and I've been trying it for a really long time. When it comes to skincare, I am so fussy and I'm loving skincare. It's something I'm newly obsessed with. I'm really, really getting into, but I only ever wanna recommend products that I am genuinely loving. And trust me when I say, I am obsessed with their entire skincare set. It really depends what you're looking for when it comes to your skincare. But for me, I'm looking for some anti-aging benefits and also just to help with general breakouts. That's something that I just kind of suffer with hormonally. I always have done. Also, before we get into it, I just wanna share with you guys my code. Please use Georgia May for 20% off the site. If you wanna try anything out, feel free to DM me if you have any specific questions about any of the products that I've used or things that you're kind of curious about. I first heard about the brand Dermatica via my mum. She is a skincare queen, honestly. There is nothing she doesn't know about skincare. And she was raving about Dermatica absolutely ages ago. So if it's good enough for V, it's it's definitely good enough for me. Dermatica's dermatology team will create a personalized formula tailored to your skin needs and concerns. And as your skin changes, so will your personalized treatment plan, which I think is amazing. It's gonna adapt and change with your skin. Another amazing thing is that they do provide ongoing support for you. So there's free digital consultations 
subscriptions which are available 24 7 with your monthly subscription service another key thing when it comes to dermatica skincare is that they have evidence-backed ingredients that you can't just buy over the counter so it makes them extremely effective when you want to see results so dermatica offer two types of cleanser they have their glycerin star cleanser which i use more so when i'm a little bit oilier this is also good for breakouts but every day i've been loving and using this one this is their squalene cream cleanser and this is more for balanced slash dry skin so because the weather's still a little bit colder this is what i would opt for this cream to oil to milk cleanser will gently and effectively remove your makeup any oil spf and impurities for a balanced clean skin this cleanser is so like moisturizing on the skin honestly if you have dry skin i think you will love this squalene cleanser i mean look can you guys see how moisturizing it is it's not drying or stripping of my skin which i hate when cleansers do that <laughs> okay once i've got in and cleansed my skin and then gonna go ahead and use this hydrating hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 serum you don't need a lot of this so don't worry it looks small but it packs a punch i'm a huge fan fan of hyaluronic acid it really helps to hydrate the skin it's something i would really recommend trying if you're new to skincare you want to try some new products a serum like this is definitely a go-to for me okay and then when it comes to moisturizer i've been flitting between two so one is more of a gel moisturizer which i really like when the weather starts to get a little bit warmer and my skin tends to like retain moisture a little bit more i would say this is more for like drier skin but then on most days currently at the moment i have been using a nourishing ceramide and peptide moisturizer i never want to mess up the names i'm really not great at pronouncing those names this is definitely a little bit more hydrating i find and i feel like it keeps my skin type a little bit more moisturized because i do suffer with skin that's slightly drier in this weather my skin is a proper combination type skin it really changes depending on hormones weather so many external factors affect my skin um so hence why i've kind of been using the two make sure you keep following my youtube channel and also me on instagram because i'll keep updating you guys with my skin and i always share like skincare and how i'm getting on with things honestly i love the products it feels like a super easy three-step system for most people to have within their life and their routine i'm gonna keep it real i think most of you guys know that i am so blessed and i'm always sent some amazing products so i do know my skincare and i know what i like and i know what i don't what i really really love about the cleanser is it leaves my skin feeling clean but doesn't strip my skin that's one of the things with a cleanser that i absolutely despise and i can always tell sometimes that super squeaky clean feeling is actually stripping your skin and this still feels super moisturized i am really really happy with how my skin looks obviously i will continue to update you guys as i go i think what's really nice about dermatica is that you guys can curate this to suit you and your skincare needs and desires and make it personalized to what skin type you have we all suffer with different skin and different skin types so i think it only makes sense to have a system that works specifically for you and isn't just universal for everyone please do not forget my code i will keep you guys posted with how i'm getting on i love the feeling of these products they just feel really easy to use and all the packaging is lovely i know that's like such a little minor thing but i'm such a fan of a pump like this i really do enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching this little bit of the video and let's get back into the vlog but yeah those are the products i've been loving and using from dermatica um i feel like it's just such an easy three-step system and i'm all for ease in my life you guys know i try a lot of skincare products and when it comes to skincare i know what i like and i'm really really impressed with their cleanser in particular i love the cleanser it's just a really lovely feeling cleanser that doesn't strip the skin anyway tangent we're off out today me and my sister we're going to primark just for like a little i think it's like a little drop-in thing um the weather is absolutely vile but i love primark so much and we said we we're gonna go so that's what we're doing today um i've literally got such a casual outfit on it's actually funny i've got my boyfriend's jumper <laughs> A pair of hugely oversized Zara trousers that are so comfortable. Have I even put a bra on today? Yeah, I have. And then I'm going to just put on like a little jacket and my bag and that's it. So super basic, but I just want to be comfortable. The weather's so bad at the moment. I hate to put that pomade in. Why did I not do that? Really do like this way pomade. But you've got to make sure that you kind of like work the product into your hand a bit. It's really, really nice because it keeps the hair slick but it's not like an oil so it doesn't make the hair greasy looking which i think when it comes to slick back looks that's half the battle so yeah i do really really like this i actually bought one ages ago and my sister stole it and then i very kindly was given this one so i'm really happy because i actually love this product um i've been taking so much care of my hair 
Yes, I did have it coloured, but let's ignore that. But I've not been using heat, like any heat on my hair. I've decided to have a break. I'm going to try and do like two months of no heat. That's the aim. We will see how it goes. I'm sure I will trip up at some point. I'm out on Friday night and I'm already thinking like, oh, what hairstyle can I do that involves no heat? But I've really got into the heatless curls, guys. They are like changing my life in the best way. Um, I've done some Instagram posts on them. I think I posted a TikTok about it. They're just great. So yeah, really into that at the moment. Anyway, we need to go. I'm literally just rambling and chatting rubbish now. Bye guys, see you when we get to London. Oh my God, say hi, we're running so late. <laughs> another day, another event, we're running so late. We came in, well, we're not running really late. We came in for lunch because we needed lunch. And then like time's just been flying by and we didn't realize. Very yummy lunch though. I actually would really recommend it. It's quite spenny. Mm. And you get like small like, plates. the plates were small, but it was so yummy. The What's it called? Riding House. They've got, so they've got the one here and then they we did get really nice food, but you guys, you can't see. But it was really, really nice. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to a Primark beauty event. You guys cannot see me. It's like an appointment, so we need to pay and we need to go. Um, and sadly, we're both dressed so like winter because of the weather is so vile. I'm in a blooming coat, a bloody hoodie with me. Right, we actually, we need to go. Sorry, guys. Okay, hi vlog. So, I didn't actually vlog at the Primark like event because it wasn't an event. It was like a one-on-one -on -one little catch up with the girls at the work there and we literally just had a little bit of a chat. They gave me a gorgeous box of Primark beauty bits, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. I also stopped off in Fortnum and Mason in the King's Cross station, the King's Cross in King's Cross station. And that is like the best station if you ever need to get a last minute present for someone or you need to pick something up. Like the shops there are amazing. They have Chanel Beauty, Jo Malone, the White Company, Company. It's like an m &S with like clothes and stuff there. It's just such a good station So I did go into the Fortnum's because I always buy people gifts from Fortnum and Mason But I've never bought myself something. Yeah, so I got myself some bits I'm gonna do like a little bit of a haul for you guys. We're also gonna cook gusto tonight, aren't we? We had a really nice gusto last night. We have bought gusto this week. We just really like it I do have a code. It's not an ad. It's just like a referral thing So you guys get like I think 60 or 65% off your box if you want to use it You can it's literally totally up to you. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have for dinner. We've just been to the gym for the second night in a row do you know today was actually really hard. We did, um, Leon ha Leon's lost, lost over a stone. Stone and a half. Jeez. I do really like it, but I do find the arms difficult. Today was arms. I need to bring you guys in there so I can vlog it, but it's just so hard because there's obviously other people in there. It's not like a private gym session or anything. It's a class. So I never want to like get the camera out when people are trying to work out because that would be my worst thing, my actual worst thing. So we went yesterday, we went today. I'm gonna try and do a Pilates class with my sister tomorrow if we can book one now. And then Thursday, I'm gonna try and do yoga because I just think it's really good. I would have done yoga tonight, but it just, by the time I get out, it's really, really late. So Thursday's like better times. So yeah, also I'm really enjoying the biab life. Anyway, I'm gonna go and upload tonight's YouTube video. And I'll get the bits to show you that I've got today from Primark. Okay, so these are my spring shelves that I wanted to show you guys. So I've got these cute little baskets from Home Sense. I feel like they look really nice and like springy. And then a brand sent me these flowers. So I put them in this little jar, which is from Don Elm. This candle's Home Sense. So this is this little shelving area. I definitely need to add a few bits. And then this is my other one, which I'm loving. This candle's not normally here. It's normally on the coffee table with a bunch of flowers, but instead this is the situation. Okay, this is my other shelving unit. So I've got this little bunny, which is so cute, some candles. Um, I got these little carrots because I thought they were look looked very like Easter. This is a really cute picture of me and my dad, which I need to put in a frame. How cute. And then I've got another little lavender thing with a little bum, which actually this is a mold of Leon's ass, isn't it? He's in a really good mood today, aren't you, Leon? Okay guys, sorry, I didn't show you us making this at all. But it tastes amazing. That's Leon's right now. So it was your favourite one? Yeah. Really, really good. It's like kalumi and... Sorry, my presentation now is not great because I'm I've eating it. it yeah, I'll put it on the screen. Currently watching Married at First Sight, Australia. I adore this show from previous se seasons. So I'm excited to watch the new season. Okay, guys. So these are the bits I bought in Fortnum's. I got these pistachio clotted cream biscuits. Can we just talk about the gorgeous tin they come in. I feel like that's literally what you pay for when it comes to Fortnum and Mason, you pay for the packaging. Also, sorry, we're still watching this. Okay, next up I got this hot chocolate. I bought this for someone once and I really wanted my own. So I'm really excited about this. This has literally got me. So excited, like look at the packaging. 
Oh, I love a hot chocolate. Okay, and then I got these because I thought it'd be really nice. They're apricot honey and lavender tea. I just thought that was really different. I wanted to try getting into more types of like herbal tea. So I thought that'd be nice. Um, they come in this really cool little thing. And look at the tea bag. Fascinated by that. Okay, and then the last thing that I got is this raspberry preserve. That's like jam, isn't it? Like a jam. They have loads. Oh, it says excellent. In sandwiches as in Victoria Sponge. Yum. And they had loads of these. They had like marmalades. They had like lemon curds and stuff. Honestly, it looked incredible, but it was really expensive. So I wanted to get something that I know I was actually going to use. And I love like raspberry jam. So I thought it was a good one. And then these are the bits I actually got gifted. Oh God, I'm crashing the flower arrangement. From... Primark Beauty, which is always really exciting. I am yet to sort of properly try Primark Beauty, so this is really something I'm so interested in. First up, the girls were talking to me about their skincare range. This is their vitamin C skincare set, and I'm really, really curious about this. I love vitamin C, and apparently this has really high concentrates of the vitamin C, so I think this is meant to be great. The girls are raving about it, so I'm excited to try that. The rest of this, I believe, is less skincare and just more beauty bits, which is exciting. I've got these two little lip balms, here i didn't realize they did all these individual lashes so this is what i'm so excited about i mean look at that 150 individual lashes they're just all these different like ways you can buy the lashes that one comes with glue yeah that's great then they got me they got me they gave me this saint moritz tanning set i have never tried saint moritz but my best friend raves about it so i'm really excited to try that out um what is this in here oh fragrance that's nice and then we've got mascaras in here uh, makeup products, brow products. Really excited to try this out. Oh, there's some hyaluronic acid serum there. Really excited to try this. Um, Jordan Lipscomb raves about Primark makeup. She has raved about them since literally day one. And I always trust her because her makeup looks great. So I'm very, very intrigued to give this all a go and see what I think about it. Oh, these look nice. They're like little blushes, cream kind of blushes. That's nice. So yeah, those are all the bits that I was kindly gifted. I think we're gonna go up now. We've had dinner, we've been watching a bit of TV. I'm gonna take all my makeup off because look at that. That is actually shocking. I went to the gym, I was really, really sweaty. I was rubbing my face. It's just not a look. I really am excited to like go and scrub my face and get this all off. So yeah, that is so bad though. What foundation did I have on today? Do you know what I tried? A new primer today and I'm convinced that it is separating all my makeup. <sighs> Which is really Kate, annoying. Blake Lively said to a Wrexham fan. <laughs> Can you say hi to Stephanie? It's my girlfriend. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why did I she say that? Too. Right, we're going to bed now. Night. Ciao. Hello, everyone. So I wanted to check in at the end of this very unusual vlog. Um, that didn't really... I feel like it didn't really consist of too much. I don't know. But then I guess that's kind of what some vlogs are. Not every vlog is going to be the most groundbreaking, interesting week of my life. I did go, obviously, go to the Primark thing, but it was more like, it was like a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So I couldn't really get my camera out. And then the forever new event that you guys saw me and Liv getting ready for, you saw me getting ready for, was um, two other girls and then two girls from the company. And we were all just having a couple glasses of wine. And because we were all sat and it's quite like an intimate setting, I always find those situations really difficult to vlog in when it's like a bigger event there's like loads of people around like i find that a lot easier but when it's more intimate i struggle with like getting the camera out of people um but i did just want to come in here because obviously you know i spoke about a lot of things in this vlog and i spoke about my anxiety and things and it's definitely stayed the same i mean that first clip was filmed a week ago was it a week ago or just over a week ago now yeah and i am just feeling a little bit shitty at the moment if i'm honest and i feel like i have to be honest because how can I do this job and not be honest about how I'm feeling? Like, you're going to wonder where I've gone and what I'm doing. And I know I took a bit of a break from YouTube for a couple of weeks. Um, I had a few people like, oh my God, come back. And I was really happy because I felt like I was putting videos out, but the people weren't that interested in them. I think just because YouTube isn't what it once was. So I was like, oh, do people want to see me that often? So when I had the messages like, oh, we miss you and stuff, it made me really happy. Also, these cows are overnight cows again. Like... I will never go back to using heat at this rate on my hair. Overnight curls, they're amazing, changing the game. Um, I've just filmed an H&M and Zara haul that's going to be out really soon. And yeah, 
it was still nice to have like a chilled week and vlog parts of it with you guys and i hope you are all doing really well i'm doing my emails now and admin -y bits boring bits but yeah i hope you guys are doing well and i'll vlog i think i'm gonna vlog this weekend because i've got a really chilled weekend one of my good friends has taken me out for my birthday like a belated birthday thing which is so sweet so i'm doing that tomorrow and i'm out over the weekend like with just really chilled vibes so i think i'm gonna vlog this weekend because i kind of like vlogging a weekend anyway now i'm ranting i'm gonna go and i'll see you in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.